Ava was diagnosed with Turner syndrome, uh, 19 weeks in utero. We had opted to not have any of the pre-screens done and found out um, at the ultrasound that Ava had a chromosomal defect, which turned out to be uh, Turner syndrome when we found out after doing an amniocentesis. Turner syndrome is a genetic condition associated with a number of physical findings. Um, it occurs in 1 in 2,500 live births, which is the most common cause of short stature in live female births. One of the manifestations of Turner syndrome in almost all kids is that they're short. In addition, they may have some other physical features, including an abnormality with the palate, uh, abnormalities in the shape of the chest, abnormalities in the thyroid gland function, uh, infertility, um, and something called nonverbal learning disorder. One of the options that was suggested to us was termination, but we, that was not an option for us. Given the vast diversity of kids with Turner syndrome who are born, the decisions that are made are very, very challenging and very difficult. We knew what we were going into, okay? So our biggest thing was making sure that she would make it all the way to, to term, you know? And uh, since the odds got better every week that we uh, went through the pregnancy. Um, when Ava was diagnosed with Turner syndrome, we went on the internet immediately and did a lot of research. We found a group um, called the Turner Syndrome Society of the United States and they have a website and we were able to go there and um, get lots of valuable information and also were able to talk to a volunteer that had had a prenatal diagnosis as well. Unfortunately, there's no way to prevent Turner Syndrome. Uh, it can be detected prenatally by doing something called an amniocentesis where an abnormal X chromosome is noted or the absence of one X chromosome where there should be two normal X chromosomes, you'll see one that's, that's abnormal or missing. So unfortunately, there's no way to prevent it, but it's something that can be detected. All right. First of all, it's great to see both parents. Um, oftentimes, I only have the pleasure of seeing one. So kudos to you, Dad, for coming in. I think that's awesome. The first visit typically involves spending a lot of time talking about what the family is about, what are their backgrounds like, what is their extended family structure, what are their needs, their conceptions and misconceptions, and try to tailor make those initial visits for each child, in particular for that child and the family. It's very important that the family understand that not only am I taking care of the child, but I'm taking care of the entire family. Our first visit uh, with Dr. Anholt was very important because it really that, that starts the relationship with, uh, with us, with, uh, with the doctor. Girls with Turner Syndrome begin to lose ovarian function even in utero. Okay. The reason they come to the endocrinologist primarily is to help them deal with the infertility issues, the lack of development of puberty because their ovaries aren't functioning well, and the short stature that we treat with growth hormone. Some of the problems that we may see with Ava um, in her childhood as well as adult life, um, we'll follow up with her cardiologist every six months now. She has a coarct of the aorta and a bicuspic aortic valve um, that needs to be followed up on. We will go to the endocrinologist quarterly um, to chart her growth. So moving a child with Turner syndrome through puberty where they wouldn't do it spontaneously is, is a critical issue for, for doctors and for their, their kids with Turner syndrome. And of course dealing with the height uh, are two of the most important uh, things that an endocrinologist can do and, and deal with. I mean as far as like when she started administering are we going to see her like shoot up an inch or? It's not like honey I blew up the kids, you know, I can come back and it's going to be popular. I think it's important for parents to recognize that they're the biggest advocates for their children. So the more educated a family is, the better it is, and the easier it is for the physician to take care of them. At the end of the day, all we want is for her to be happy and be okay with herself and feel good about herself and live a long and happy life.